Hello and welcome to the scripted sequences tutorial. What we're going to be covering in this uh, video is making one of the NPCs walk across the room and open the door. It's as simple as that. So as you can see I've got my map set up here. If you recognise this one from the connecting rooms tutorial. And all I've got different is I've just deleted one of the doors from the other room. Because all I'm going to need is just one door for the, for the AI character to open. So what I'm going to do to start with is actually add that person in right now. So I'm going to go to the Entity tool and down to the Selections and we've got NPC Citizen selected already. So I'm going to left click that into the map and as you can see that's just appeared there. You can recognise that character from the game. First thing we do is just open him up by going to his properties, give him a name, I'm going to call him Jeff. And also I'm just going to pop to his flags and just put Not Commandable. We don't want him to start following the player around while we're trying to make him open the door for us. Apply that. That's him done for now. Next thing we need to do is give the door a name because obviously we need this to open. Let's go into the door. We'll call that door one. And finally, we need one more entity in here to set this up, and that's the scripted sequence itself, which carries out the animation for us. So again, down to your entities. Scroll down the list till you get down to S scripted sequence. Just left click that there. You can see that's actually facing to the right for us, which is what we want because that's where the door is. We're just going to move it in a bit closer and to the left side because it's going to be near the handle. What we're going to have to do is uh, this guy's going to walk over, perform his opening the door animation, and the door's just going to open, and that's it. So the first thing we'll do is set up the scripted sequence. Give that a name first of all. We're going to call that script. One. Uh, an important one you have to fill in now is target NPC, just so it knows who's going to be performing the animation for us. So we can just click this uh, dropper here, click on our entity, and it fills it in for us. Apply. An action animation. This is the animation we're going to be performing. Now, if you're not sure which one to choose, you can use the model view that comes with the SDK. Or the, another quick way is to go into the properties here, model and just scroll down through these. The one we're looking for, we quicker to probably uh, actually type it, is open, open door away. You can see that's what it's performing. So we'll just copy that from there. Just put that back to Ragdoll for now. Okay, so I'll go back to my script. And pop that in action animation. Okay, and flags no interruptions and override the AI as well. Right, so so far we've set up what we actually want to be performed. Now so far nothing's going to happen with regard to the door. So now we need to look into uh, setting up inputs and outputs which is an important part of Half-Life 2 editing. What we want to happen is once this script begins we want the door to open. So we'll go into the scripted sequence again and go to outputs. We'll go to add what the output name. Now what we've got here is on begin sequence. So as soon as that sequence starts it's going to trigger. So we want that one. And what entity do we want it to trigger? Well in this case we want the door. And what input do we want? This is what we want the door to do. So we want the door to open. Now we need the delay because if the door opens straight away his hands are going to still be moving towards the door. So we'll put in 0.75 and that will give us just enough time for him to perform his animation before the door opens. Make it look fluid. Apply. So we've done that now. He's going to walk over and he's going to uh, open that door with his hand. And now we need to actually trigger the whole event itself. So let's do that. We'll use our block tool and the trigger texture I've already selected over here. Create a block in front of the player. Now, go to to entity on the right hand side in your list scroll down to trigger once okay press apply now again we're using our output system we're going to add because we want this to actually trigger the script itself let's go add and on trigger so as soon as this is triggered by touching it what we're going to target we're going to target the script one and what input do we want we want that to begin the sequence apply. So what's going to happen is he's going to walk over, open the door and the door's going to open. A few 
half a second afterwards. One thing to check as well is the move to position is set to walk, so it's going to walk across to it. So there we go, we've set up the script there. Now the next thing we can do is just see how that looks in game. I've already compiled it. See how that works. I'll just unpause that now. Okay, so I'm in game. I'm going to walk into the trigger. And there we go, he's opened the door. And that's pretty much all we've done.